You've decided to watch this video, so I assume you already know how good and handy a Raspberry Pi is. Without further ado, let's see how to prepare your Raspberry Pi and start using it. In this tutorial, I'm using the latest Raspberry Pi 0W, but the procedures are pretty much the same for all the Raspberry Pi boards. First thing you want to do is visit the Raspberry Pi Org website and go to the Downloads section. You can choose Noobs or Raspbian. Noobs is a kind of an installation wizard, which can help you install the operating system on your SD card. Raspbian is a Linux-based operating system tailored to fit all the Pi boards. That's the default OS. I'll go with the second option, because the installation is quicker and Noobs would install Raspbian for you anyway. The next step is to download SD card formatter. and install it. Insert your microSD card into a card reader. Open up the program. Choose your SD card drive letter. Leave the default format options and click Format. Now go to HRIO website and download the program for your operating system. Run Etcher Choose your Raspberry Pi image Select the SD card and click Flash This will take a while depending on your card speed Fortunately, thanks to the magic of video editing, we don't have to wait that long you can now unplug the microSD card and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. Hopefully you already have all the cables and adapters. This one is a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter. My monitor is not equipped with HDMI ports, so I plugged in another HDMI to VGA adapter. and use this VGA cable to connect the Pi to the monitor. The middle micro USB port is the only usable USB on this Pi. To connect anything, you need a micro USB to USB cable. My wireless keyboard and mouse use only one USB receiver, but if you need more USB ports, you will have to use a hub. The second micro USB port is used only and exclusively for the power supply. Everything's connected properly, so turn on your power supply. The small green LED should start blinking, which means the Pi is reading your SD card and the operating system is loading. Finally, we have the desktop, so open up the terminal. My first advice is change your default password, so type passwd and hit enter. Type in the default password, which is raspberry, hit enter and type your new password twice. 
Now let's enable Wi-Fi by clicking on this icon. Find your SSID on the list, which is your home wireless network's name, and provide the password. After a couple of seconds, you should be connected to the internet. You probably noticed the black border around the desktop, so let's fix this now. Go back to your terminal window and type sudo leafpad, which will open a text file editor with root privileges. Open a file called config.txt, which is located in boot directory. Find the line containing overscan disable and uncomment it by deleting the hashtag. Save the file and reboot your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, the whole area of the screen is used now. Open up the terminal once more and type sudo apt update to refresh all your repositories. Now type sudo apt upgrade and hit letter Y on your keyboard to install all the updates. This may take quite a while, so grab a cup of coffee or take your dog for a walk. When the upgrade is finished, you can close the terminal and finally start using a Raspberry Pi. If Raspberry Pi videos are something you would like to see more often on my channel, please let me know by posting a comment and sharing this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time.